Absolutely. Yes. When the new streetcar arrives at the stop, all the doors are open. Yes. So people can board at any of the doors right now. Anybody with your hats for a transfer from another TTC vehicle can go straight through their seats. If somebody has a token or cash, they can come to the single ride vending machine. Do you want me to demonstrate? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what they would do then is if I had a token, I would hit select fare. And up here it will says it will say adult. I would put the token in here, hit print ticket, and then if you watch right here, what is printed here is that is a proof of payment receipt. And what that is is that's uh, that's something that the customer would retain with them for the rest of their trip. Uh, if they are approached by a fare enforcement officer and asked to prove that they paid their fare, they would show this. It has the date, the time, the fare paid here, adult, and the route. Uh, but the customer would keep this and transfer, if they're transferring to uh, an east-west route, let's say a King Street streetcar, they would take this and show this to the operator on that streetcar and that's the proof of payment. So the customer should keep this. So this would be for uh, a token user or anybody who wants. Uh, so let's say I'm a senior and my cash fare is $2. I would hit select fare. It comes up adult. Uh, Post-secondary student. I go to the next one. Senior, it says $2. I put in one dollar, it will show that I still owe another dollar. I put that in, I hit print, print ticket. Uh, printing starts right here, and again the pop receipt comes out. And as you can see on this one, it says I paid a senior fare. Now we also have, so this would be for cash and token users, and we also have uh, tickets out there. Uh, so anybody who's using a ticket, has to use the, the machine right beside it, which is a, a ticket validator. So if I have a child ticket or a senior student ticket, I would simply take the ticket, put the arrow part, mm -hmm. just pop it in where the green light is, and it prints the date and time on it. And again, if I'm approached by a fair enforcement officer, I just show that as proof that I paid my fare. If I transfer to another vehicle, what I would do is I would place this into the fare box on that vehicle and get a regular transfer from uh, the operator. So there is, these, these come as sets, so there's a three set, there's one set in this part of the vehicle, there's another set in the back part of the vehicle. Uh, at the busiest locations on Spadina, we also have sets of these machines at eight locations. So the expectation is, is that customers at those busy locations can get their proof of payment receipt or validate their ticket before they get on the vehicle. Uh, somebody who forgets to do that or gets on that another stop on that route and has a choice of two machines on the vehicle to, to validate your ticket or get a full receipt.